Hey everyone, Manny here, and in today's video, we're going to do something I really don't see that often. Uh, this video should be pretty quick and simple. What we're going to be doing today is fixing our uh, leaking mags, and to be more specific, it, I'm using an AAPO1 mag as an example. We're not talking about the actual um, valve in the back or the valve in the bottom specifically, but the actual uh, small little rubber piece that goes into the actual bottom uh, fill valve and to be more exact there's supposed to be a ring in there a rubber ring that allows for green gas cans to be able to be filled if you don't then you get an example like this where the gas releases all the way out and obviously you're wasting green gas and it's not filling appropriately so that's what this mag has right now now, for that, we're going to do something very simple, very easy, uh, nothing out of this world. Uh, what we're going to do is do a quick fix for it. If you don't have any O-rings available, especially for these kind of sizes, um, for that, you're going to be needing different tools. You'll need some tweezers to handle the the uh, the parts that we're going to be handling, and a uh, actual little uh, either um, toothpick or a, a dental tool in order to do that. You will also need, if you can possibly get one, you'll either need a razor or one of those crafts uh, razor tools like this one right here uh, in order to be able to cut the material that we're going to be using. Now a lot of us if you upgrade your guns constantly or if you do special modifications you should be able to have one of these laying around and if you don't I'd recommend to keep them uh, if they're not damaged but I will be using a rubber nub and this one is actually a Prometheus rubber nub right oh be careful not to drop it like I just did right now but if we place it right here on the line you can see it's uh it's pretty oh, not even on the camera uh, right there it's a little nub right there just a normal standard nub that comes with the actual Prometheus buckings that's what I'll be using today so let's start this so for starters right we'll need to uh, be able to uh, cut this little nub into uh, like very thin pieces and to be exact it doesn't really have to be super thin you don't want it super thin but at the same time you want to have uh, some um, uh, thickness to it uh, and for those of you who, who kind of are seeing where I'm going with this uh, you can kind of know what I'm going to do with this so with the tweezers either either hold the outside or in this case I'll be sticking the tweezers into the little nub so that way it holds down to it and then with the actual razor you want to cut a thick enough layer but not too thick to where it won't be able to sit all the way down into the room magazine so let us do that okay and now that I've done that um, here it is it's just a little little small piece that I cut it's not that thick right but it's not super thin because then you wouldn't have been able to uh, cut it you gotta make sure you have a pretty pretty uh, sharp razor. You can't use anything old or a knife, because th those aren't exactly for like precise things like these. So now that we've done this, what exactly do we do? I, for instance, like to uh, sp uh, spray a little bit of lube um, into the actual fill valve, and the reason for that is because I want to one make sure it's pretty well lubed, and two, it makes it much easier. So as you can see on this AAPO one. I don't know if you can see it, but there's no uh, O-ring in it. That's why I was having issues. So with this, what you want to do is, if possible, try to put the end that is the most um, the most flat facing up. Uh, in this case, it shouldn't matter out of this length. So once you put that little piece of rubber into it, you can push it down with your actual... Um, either toothpick or something uh, small enough to work it down now again this little uh, thing 
is just a quick fix. It's nothing exactly permanent. Uh, I thought about this on the whim uh, one day when I was trying to um, look for um, a working uh, high cup of mag that I had and most of the o-rings fell out and I thought to myself well this is just rubber uh, it fits into the valve and it fits pretty snugged so why not try it with this and I tried it with both the AAPL1 and the high kappa as well as the actual um, the actual Glock mags and it worked pretty well so I'm gonna remove all the gas from this AAPL1 just to make sure you see it, it actually works now again it all depends how well and straight you cut this because again if you use the end that is uneven obviously when the actual uh, green gas can sits on it it won't like fill correctly so in this case let's use this there you go and there you go it fills now we'll put back the bottom plate now it all depends on the rubber itself right again like I said this is just a temporary fix for you in case you you know you lost the rubber o-ring or it broke and you're waiting for um, newer uh, mags to be more exact and here to show you it's working pr appropriately let's make sure there's no BB inside the chamber which there is let's pull that out because we don't want to shoot ourselves uh, or shoot anything else right I filled it out all right and just test it there you go that works like nothing um, but yeah this is a, a temporary fix uh, for you to get actual o-rings that fit it or if you're getting enhanced o-rings that uh, give you a more proper seal this is a good way of fixing your mags well like I said we well, need some tweezers a razor a little thin tool or toothpick to work in the actual piece that you cut and a uh, nub that you're not using anymore uh, or an extra nub that you might have uh, laying around uh, let me know what you guys uh, think about this tutorial it was pretty short uh, and not that hard to do um, other than that, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.